Well, if you were with us the last time, you might recall that we were thinking about the words of a tremendous hymn by Oswald J. Smith. Great hymn writer, great missionary statesman, a great motivator of God's people. He ministered in the People's Church in Toronto, Canada. He wrote many wonderful books. I'd recommend the books of Oswald Smith if you can find them. The Revival We Need, The Man God Uses, uh, The Endowment of Power, The Consuming Fire. Many wonderful, wonderful books. But he also wrote many wonderful hymns. And one of them states, when Jesus comes, the tempter's power is broken. When Jesus comes, sins are washed away. He takes the gloom and fills the life with glory, for all is changed when Jesus comes to stay. We have already considered that the Lord Jesus Christ can come to the sinful. We thought about the man from the Gadarenes in Mark chapter 5, the opening verses of that chapter. What a change was wrought in that man's life whenever the Saviour came and met him at the point of need. He comes to the sinful. But you know something? He also comes to the needful. The psalmist was able to say, I am poor and needy, and yet the Lord thinketh upon me. We have all needs in our lives, all people have needs. You're maybe a needy individual today, and there's people all around you that you know and love, and they have got needs in their lives as well. We live in a world that is needy, and yet whenever the Saviour comes to the needful, things can change in a wonderful, wonderful way. Again, in Mark's Gospel, uh, this time in chapter 10, we have the account of an individual who was poor and needy. His name was Bartimaeus. He was a blind man. He was a beggar. He lived on a highway just coming out of the sinful, wicked city of Jericho. And the wonderful thing is that the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, wasn't afraid to go to such places and meet people at the point of need. And we read that whenever the Son of God was coming out of the city of Jericho, he met Bartimaeus. Listen to these words from Mark's Gospel, chapter 10. Verse number 46 says, And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the wayside, or the highway side, begging and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thy son of David, have mercy on me. You see, the Saviour came just to where Bartimaeus was. Bartimaeus was poor and needy. He's a picture of the natural man. He was needy physically because he was blind. He had a physical need in his life, and that was his blindness. He needed eyesight. He needed vision. He needed somebody to come and touch his eyes and take away his blindness. He was needy physically because he was blind. And that's a picture of the natural man. The Word of God says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse number 4 that the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them that believe not. If you're a Christian today, will you pray? that the Son of God might come to those who are blinded by sin and blinded in their sin, and that the Lord will come and meet such needy people and open their eyes so that they might behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. Bartimaeus was needy physically because he was blind. Bartimaeus was needy materially because he was a beggar. He sat on the highway side begging. Life had been hard. Life had been difficult for Bartimaeus. It had been hard from his earliest days. He was a beggar. He never enjoyed the luxuries that you and I enjoy. And he was needy materially because he was a beggar. And the Bible reminds us as well that all of us in a spiritual sense are beggars. We are all debtors to God. We have broken God's law as the hymn writer said, I had a debt that I could not pay, and I needed someone to wash my sins away. But now I sing amazing grace the whole day long, for Jesus paid a debt that I could never pay. He came and paid our sin debt upon the cross. Bartimaeus was needy physically because he was blind. Bartimaeus was needy materially because he was a beggar. But Bartimaeus was needy spiritually simply because he was Bartimaeus. 
Every single individual has a spiritual need. And Jesus Christ is able to come and meet that need in our hearts and in our lives. The Word of God reminds us that all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. And maybe you would be so humble today to acknowledge and to admit that you yourself are poor and needy, blind, destitute, spiritually impoverished. And yet whenever Jesus Christ comes, things can change. He lifted Bartimaeus. He gave him his eyesight. He set his feet upon a rock. He established his goings. He changed his life forever because all is changed when Jesus comes to stay. Let's pray, those of us that know the Lord, that the Son of God himself will go to those who are poor and needy and lift them and set their feet upon a rock. May God bless you today. Thanks for joining us. And feel free to pass this little message on to others. And let's pray for a great move of the Spirit of God. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.